So in the crucible of challenge, creativity is born. The truth is, you would not wear this around your neck, nor would you wear it on your finger or as a belt buckle. Silver ore is pretty ugly in its raw state. However, the ore is placed in a crucible after crushing it and washing it, and then the ore is exposed to extreme heat between 1,450 and 2,000 degrees until it begins to melt. After melting, it's poured. The slag separates, becomes silver and rock, and hit with a hammer, the two fall apart. The end result, wearable art. I propose that in the lives of great leaders, a similar process happens. We have to be crushed and washed and exposed to heat. For me, it was Katrina. This is a picture of my neighborhood. My organization is in the center. It's another picture of my organization. You can see my neighborhood. Everything's underwater. This is a tough time for me, for my family. We lost everything, things that we had built up for many years, relationships with people, our after-school program, our kids scattered everywhere around the country, years and years of work, building up young leaders, waiting to see them go off to college, and then gone. Our records gone. In fact, the day before Katrina, as we debated whether we we're going to evacuate, we planted gardens all throughout Holly Grove, my neighborhood, so that Families could grow vegetables for themselves for an entire growing season. The next day, it was gone. Our lives taken, placed on the front lawn, waiting for the FEMA truck, exposed for all the world to see, a kind of deep humiliation and it was hot. Oh, it was unbearably hot. And those refrigerators placed on the side of the road smelled to high heaven. And every time you took a refrigerator out of another house, it got on your feet, that smell, and it was in your car, and then it went home and it was in your house. It was everywhere. This was probably the most miserable time of my entire life. This is Trinity Christian Community's Holly Grove Community Center. What we didn't get from below, we got from above. This is the inside of our computer center. It was one month old. These computers had just been bought for us by an organization. We were setting them up to teach kids how to use them to bridge the digital divide. Imagine everything gone. And yet, in the midst of all this, something began to happen. One psychotherapist said, in the crucible of challenge, creativity is born. My high school football coach, Bob O'Neill, said, no pain, no gain. St. Paul said, trials produce perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And the truth is, something happens when a life goes through the crucible. Creativity is born. Hope begins to emerge. People that have been tried and tested and gone through this refiner's fire begin to think in new and different ways. In Holly Grove, we built a green technology house that won awards in Italy. We developed the Holly Grove Market and Farm, a micro farm, right in the middle of an inner city high crime neighborhood where people come from all over the city to shop, but not only that, people come from all over the country to study. Now, of course, we had no community center, so we did what any other community organization would do. We bought a circus tent. 
and we set it up in our parking lot. And from underneath that circus tent, we began to have community meetings where leaders could come together to talk about a re-energized, a reinvigorated, and a re-envisioned neighborhood. A neighborhood that would not be rebuilt the same way as it was before. And leaders came from all over the country. AmeriCorps members uh, descended upon us. We had the largest AmeriCorps program in this little bitty community organization in the, in the state of Louisiana for a while. This is the Holly Grove Chair Project. A group of boys are being mentored to build these chairs. We're going to sell them at the art market. And for every chair we sell, the boys have determined to give one away to a senior in the community so the senior can sit on their porch and watch crime out front. In Holly Grove, <laughs> crime has been reduced by 72% since the storm by the creativity of people. And of course, our schools have changed. Dramatic new experimentation in public school system. Final thing is, in our neighborhood, an old train track was taken out to build a, a, a plumbing thing, a, a drainage system. This big drainage culvert then left the big the linear parks of the neighborhood. We're taking that over as a community to create something new and different, a linear park in our community called the, um, the Green Line Project. Here's my parting ideas. Life is full of adversity. It's going to happen. Count on it. Tough times happen to all of us, but we respond in one of two ways. Number one, we can run, we can withdraw, we can lick our wounds, and we can play the victim and be martyrs. Or number two, we can exercise our creative powers. In Hollygrove, we chose to exercise our creative powers. The crucible, although it's hot, although it's crushing, and although it's overwhelming, is not our enemy. The crucible is a refiner's fire that shapes us into people with vision and unlimited potential. So when you go through the refiner's fire, celebrate, because it produces character, and character brings hope.